Hey there, Statesman Nation. Welcome to the Cross Country Preview. I'm here with Coach Sean Goswitz. Coach, thank you for joining me today. Of course. It's a pleasure. So, uh, Coach, we're uh, coming into kind of a weird season this year. So, uh, during, during the off season, how did th this whole situation affect the way that you recruited and prepared for the upcoming season? I mean, preparing for the upcoming season wasn't the worst. You know, a lot of cross country is done either individually or in small groups outside. Mm -hmm. um, so, as far as getting training out to kids and just having them, you know, stay in shape over the summer, we missed out on some weight room opportunities. But as far as like running goes and getting in shape, it wasn't bad. Mm -hmm. Recruiting was a little dicey here and there. You know, you, you sign kids before the summer, before the year starts. And, you know, unfortunately some things happen over, over this whole pandemic where, mm -hmm. you know, kids aren't able to attend anymore. But we did the best we could with what we could. And uh, we're looking forward to the coming year. Cool. So uh, as we're officially in the, your preseason, did the shortened preseason affect how you have done your actual preseason training? No, honestly, we usually report about a week before regular students anyways, and we were able to maintain that this year. So we usually have just, just that one week of preseason. I put a lot of faith in the athletes to get the running that they're supposed to be done over the summer. Okay, now we're going to go into a little bit of the roster. We're going to start on the men's side. Uh, so take us through some of the big names that you have returning for the men's team. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, William De Jesus, um, he's one of the top guys we've got returning. He looks to be in monster shape. Him and Solomon, uh, sorry, as well as Axel. Both those guys came back in great shape. So did Kenny Bolton. Uh, and I always say the same thing, Cross isn't his favorite, but he's good at it. Um, and he's in shape this year, too. Vernon, um, he's a big name that you'll recognize from last year. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little dicey right now, to be honest with you. He's, he's got some doctor's appointments set up, so we'll see what the season looks like for him. But, uh, you know, if he's good to go, he's always, he's always somebody that we can count on in that top five. Any big new names to watch on the men's side? Absolutely. Um, Ruben Perez Rodriguez is a stellar freshman for us. He's in really good shape. He should absolutely be up there with Will and Axel. Um, and then there are a couple guys right back there rounding out that top seven. Uh, Michael, Michael Zelazny, Isaac Knockle, and uh, Jonah Heckenberg. Those three are right up there in a good spot as well. Okay. Now uh, moving over to the women's side, who you got big returning on the women's side of things? Yeah, so actually a majority of our girls are returners. Um, headlined by Michaela Kamek. She's, she's in really good shape as well. I watched some of the work that she put in over the summer through like Strava and other apps. Um, so she put in some monster work, and it, it shows she's in very good shape. And right on her heels is Zena Cohiel. Um, she came back in stellar shape as well. And then, you know, we got Talasia Duvere rounding things out with Maddie Udy, Ashley Johnson. Uh, Vanessa Blanco is good to go this year. So we should have, and Michelle Reyes. I can't forget Michelle. She put in a lot of work last year in the summer as well. So, Great. Um, yeah, women are looking good with their seven. And any big new names there? Uh, Emma Alexander. Um, she's, she's coming in as an impact athlete for us. So okay. We'll see how she does. And you mentioned the uh, Mount Mercy Seminole Stampede. Seminole Stampede. Yeah. So uh, what, what's the uh, preparation look like for that one? Yeah, so that one is it's later in the season, so we do take more of those late October kind of approaching conference meets a little more seriously, and that one is very competitive. So um, you know, while we kind of train through some of our early season meets, mm -hmm. not really focusing on those, uh, by the time the Seminole Stampede rolls around, we're hoping to be in really good shape and have a really good showing. Um, then you know, just a couple weeks later is conference for us. Cool. So what's the uh, overall outlook look like for the 2020 season? Uh, good, I think. You know, as long as as long as long nobody continues to cancel meets or anything, um, I think we're good to go, and I think we'll see some big things, definitely out of some individuals, but hopefully we come together as a team as well. Great. Coach, thank you for joining me today. Of course. It's been fun. Go Statesman.